fight some more. I will fight. I will fight. Ooh, 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 ooh. On this week's CFIZ 360, everybody loves a parade. It's water polo playoffs time and more. Hi, welcome back to CFIZ 360. Today we're coming to you from the Mark Henry Administration Building where the first meeting of the Superintendent's Student Leadership Committee is taking place. The select group of high school students have applied, interviewed, and been chosen to be the student ambassadors for CFISD. One of my favorite things really about being part of this committee is it, it lets me see kind of behind the door that I think a lot of people don't see, especially even from a student or even teacher perspective, of what's really going on within the district. I feel like that we're very hands-on, we're very interactive with our students. I'm really looking forward to meeting other kids in the district. I thought, well, I should apply because, well, there's a place for me to express those thoughts. Who doesn't love a parade? On September 30th, Superintendent Dr. Doug Hillian, along with Cypher High School's principal, Anna Martin, had the honor of serving as Grand Marshals for the Bobcat Homecoming Parade. What a fun way to celebrate. It was fantastic, and I got to be up there with the principal and see all the kids and then watch the whole parade from, uh, actually, from the back of the pickup truck, being the Grand Marshal. is awesome. We celebrated National School Lunch Week from October 14th through the 18th, a time to recognize the importance of a healthy school lunch. Did you know that CFISD's Nutrition Services Teams serves more than 105,000 meals each day? The theme is Find Your Treasure. We are doing this job because we, we care about the kids and it's important for us to, to keep them healthy and well-fed and get them ready to learn. October is National Principals Month a time to celebrate the incredible dedication and leadership of our school principals. He's really inspired me and in, to be a better person. I always see him fist bump, uh, kids in the hallways. Ms. Dent is enthusiastic, she's a leader, and she's passionate. Time now to go beyond the score with CFISD Sports. Thanks, Chris. Across the district, several CFISD water polo teams advanced to the regional quarterfinals round of playoffs. Side Creek Girls Water Polo won 19-5 over Lamar High School in the quarterfinals to advance the Region 2 tournament. Hard fought this year. Uh, the girls had to work a little extra hard. To get this far in any sport in uh, playoffs is, is an accomplishment. They put in hard hours. 16-6A and 17-6A competed in their district cross-country meets. CFISD will be represented well in the 6A Region 2 and Region 3 meets with several teams and individuals advancing. Bridgeland was one of those teams. I went out and got the dub and that was the goal. The goal was to win. The team did really good today too, uh, which I'm happy for the team. That does it for this edition of CFISD 360. Thanks for joining us as we show how CFISD is on the path to amazing. <laughs>